Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at generators that will help you finish, finish your projects. If your problem is finishing, these blender generators can give you a hand. Never finish late, finish on time, finish on your clients. Finish on your client's set deadline with these explosive generators. Don't be uncomfortable with using other people's models or projects. For example, Godzilla was sculpted by more than 20 artists, his fingers were sculpted by one person, the nails by another, and the scales on his massive body by another. Another example, over 300 artists worked on the tiger in the life of Pi. In this industry, everything is built on top of what others have done. You help others finish and others help you finish. These generators should make it easy for you to finish your project. Number one, cracker. If you have never been in a relationship, you're probably wondering how a breakup looks like. This cracker add-on for Blender will break windows, crack walls, and damage concrete. You may not be able to break anyone's heart in the real world, but at least with this add-on, you get a chance to break meshes, a chance to feel something. Number two, water library. If you don't know the importance of water, you probably never pleased a woman. Use this library of water as a reminder that the more water you see, the happier everyone is. Number three, botanic. I live in Africa, so I've seen all sorts of bushes, from tall, thick, short and busy, to trimmed and well maintained. So trust me bro, when I say botanic bushes are on point, the only feature I'll request the developers to add is the ability to instantly make them wet cause that's what I do and if you doubt that tell your mom to give me a, <laughs> to give me a call number four human face VDMs okay no more bad jokes VDMs stand for virgin dads and mothers why because with VDM brushes it doesn't matter if it's your first time to sculpt you can still get something good with this human face package it contains all sorts of parts of a human face that you could use Number five, UV Pack Master 3. UV unwrapping is like being in a bedroom with a girl you want to impress. She either takes the lead or you take the lead. The problem comes when you are unsure what to do, like when using the Blender built-in UV tools. Become a master of unpacking, be it your package, her package, or a UV package with UV Pack Master 3. That's a really good name. Number six, Bake to PBR. If you want to export models to other applications, you have to bake your textures and if you have tried baking textures in Blender, you probably hate it. So use Simply Bake, it's a quick and easy solution for baking your textures. Number 7, X Muscle System. I am a fairly small guy because I build my muscles where they are most needed. This is important because sometimes you don't always want things to be simple, sometimes you want things to be hard. This add-on is a proper way to add muscle deformation in your animation. The skin can slide over the muscles giving you the production quality you need. Number 8, Bone Dynamics. Speaking of hard things, physics bone animation in Blender is super hard, especially without the help of add-ons like this. This Bone Dynamics add-on supports bone collision and other things. Take a look at it and see how it could be useful. Number 9, OCD or one click damage. If you hate generators, I would like to see you try adding this level of detail to anything without using an add-on like this. And try to make every damage detail you add unique and fitting with other details like this add-on does. Also, while at it, name me a scene that would not take advantage of the damage detail this add-on provides. Number 10, Curve Machine. If you have used curves in Blender, I only have to play this demo for you and say nothing other than saying that if you have used curves in Blender, I just have to play this demo for you and say nothing other than, uh, okay, now I'm just repeating myself. Next, Shader Plus. These are caustics and they are hard to make without this add-on. Don't believe me? Check YouTube for tutorials on caustics. We YouTubers make tutorials on anything except the hard things. <laughs> Number 12. Building generators. 
I didn't know this generator had more presets than the default one. It comes with a variety of buildings and the creator is constantly adding new ones. So check it out and see if it can be useful for what you're doing. Number 13, Simply Cage. Avoid mesh intersection when admitting. Simply Cage will deform meshes in reaction to collisions happening between them and other objects, giving you realistic deformations at no extra cost. Also, there is a free version, so I really mean it when I say at no extra cost. Number 14, Spiderfly Boyd System. If you're making an indie movie, you totally need this. You get spiders, birds, and a lot of other things. The trailer shows the use case better than I can talk about it, so get it for yourself. Number 15, Random Ship Generator. This generator makes sci-fi ships. Some of these look similar to what was in Man of Steel, and I really love it. Number 16, Custom Planet Generator. I have not seen a planet generator that generates something that looks this clean and realistic. So get it if you want super clean planets for your shots. Number 17, Terrain Mixer. This is not just a terrain generator, it's a terrain mixer. It gives you control on placement of different unique features of your terrain, like mountains, rivers, and lakes, and other things. Number 18, Procedure Crowds. Not much to say here, this iron just, just gives you crowds, lots and lots of people that you can control. They are all animated and you can have a lot of variation. They have tons of different models that you can use. They are all animated and they can react as crowds react. Number 19. And finally, we have beta quad. This add-on subdivides your mesh into quads without changing the shape of your mesh. This works similar to the subdivision surface. But the difference is the subdivision surface usually doubles or triples your geometry and usually doesn't maintain the shape of your mesh, especially in sharp edges. The subdivision surface usually tries to smoothen those areas into curved surfaces, which this add-on doesn't. This add-on tries its best to maintain the shape of the mesh, which I think is very, very important. Yeah, these are some of the amazing add-ons that I could find and uh, you will have to, to excuse my jokes. It's a, it's, it's a nice way I try to entertain myself. So most of these add-ons are self-explanatory. You can just look at it and uh, see what it does. So I don't really think there is value in explaining the bullet points of what the add-on does, but uh, showing it here, I think really, really helps. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.